Welcome back to the Mirrorverse, everybody, and welcome to Mare's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing video, which I love doing these. I don't get to do a lot of unboxing videos for some new gear that I got. So today, I'm going to unbox the Dr. Disrespect Rocat mouse, keyboard, and even the mouse pad. So uh, get ready for that. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like, the packaging, which the marketing is really slick, slick daddy on this and true Dr. Disrespect style. These are the first Rocat products that I've ever had. So I'm gonna do a second video giving a review of how I feel about them. And then we're gonna take a look at the actual products in the box, obviously, and I'll be going live on stream right after I record this video to use them for the very first time. So let's start, I guess, and I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a pen or anything or a, or a knife to open these. So hopefully they're not too hard to open. I might have to edit this if they're a little too hard to open. Um, let's start with the keyboard, which you see, it have got one side, violent speed, momentum, precision. Seriously, the marketing on this, so, so good. It's it's true doc flair all throughout. And if you don't know, uh, these are existing Rocat products, just Dr. Disrespect themed. So the keyboard is the Rocat Vulcan TKL Pro, which you can kind of see right there. Um, so you got one side, welcome to the Champions Club, Dr. Disrespect keyboard. It's not his actual signature, it's branding. The other side, you got the logo, the doc logo, stash, all that. So let me pop this baby open and we can take a look at how this how this looks, if I can figure out how to open this thing, because I'm a true, true dunce. All right, popping it open. This is what we get. The actual keyboard itself, it's obviously not plugged in, not lit. Comes with a quick installation guide, cables. There's the keyboard itself, I'm gonna shred the plastic off. It's gonna look a lot different once it's lit up. But first thing I'm noticing, feels pretty compact. It's definitely smaller than my existing keyboard by maybe about 15, 20% surface area. Uh, much smaller than my secondary keyboard. Uh, so the keys are gonna be closer together. And then you can see, look at this. These, those are the switches, as you can see. Um, much smaller, more compact. Some people will like that, some people will not. The escape, the escape button, literally, uh, where am I going here? Has the Dr. Disrespect logo on it. There it is. Not doesn't say escape, it has the Dr. Disrespect logo on it. Uh, there's a button that literally <laughs> says speed, boom, disrespect, uh, the backspace keys and such. If you're a gamer, I think if you're a doc fan, I think you're gonna love this. Um, if you are somebody who's just trying to type and learn to type, this might be a little difficult, but you're probably not trying to learn to type on a uh, on a Rocat mouse and keyboard. Now this, this here, what is that knob? I'm doing a terrible job of showing you guys the keyboard. So I'm looking at it myself. Uh, here it is. The keys feel, um, compared to my uh a razor keyboard that i once used they don't make that like really strong clicking sound but i know there's a way to uh change there's there's a couple different um i think you can change the switches on this somehow i don't know how i'm gonna have to plug it in and we'll uh we'll find that out again that'll come in my full review this is what it looks like uh not plugged in pretty um small i mean here's here it is across my my, my chest might take some getting used to for me because I've never had a keyboard that small. I know a lot of gamers are into that more compact keyboard, not stretching your fingers. I, by the way, have very small hands. So this, uh, this may help me out quite a bit. Now, where did that pen go? Here we go. By the way, this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. If you're thinking about protecting your privacy with a VPN, there's a link down in the description, expressvpn.com slash mayor, where you can go use that link and get three free months when you sign up for ExpressVPN using my link when you subscribe for a year. Save yourself some money and support my channel and content at the same time. So uh, if you're looking for a VPN, there's no reason not to use ExpressVPN because that's the bottom line because Mayor Reynolds said so. So here is the mouse. Nice little box, again, same branding. Dock logo on the back, pretty sick. Violent speed momentum, precision as well, this one says. 
It says, welcome to the Champions Club, Dr. Disrespect approved. Little Doc logo on the side. Rocat logo on this side. I have wanted to use Rocat products for a long time, ever since I first heard about them and that precision German engineering uh, stuff. So I'm excited to use this. I was excited when Doc uh, signed with Rocat because uh, they're a company that I had always, always liked and aspired to use their products. So I'm not sure what this is yet. I think it's a replacement. It's a replacement for these pads on the bottom of the mouse. First impressions of the mouse. Red and black, Dr. Disrespect logo. There's the bottom for you. Insanely light. Insanely light. Very, very, very light. Compared to this other mouse I got in front of me, um, it's half, half that weight. Um, compared to my Razer mouse, half that weight. Um, this is the Rocat Cone, by the way. And again, an existing Cone, K-O-N-E, an existing Rocat product but Dr. Disrespect branded. Very simple, not a lot of buttons on it. You know, this is an FPS mouse primarily. There's two little side buttons here. You got your mouse wheel, which also clicks down, and you've got a right and a left click. This is not one of those MMO or MOBA mouses. This is 100% an FPS mouse. I can't wait to use it. And now, for the last bit, I also got the mouse pad. The giant Dr. Disrespect mouse pad. I, you know, honestly, some people will, will say that their mouse pad makes a difference. Some people will, will not. Um, I personally think it does make a difference. You want that comfort. The size makes a huge difference. Whether you're bumping your, your mouse into something else on your desk or into your keyboard when you're trying to, when you're playing a game and you're trying to flick your, flick your peacekeeper over around the corner to somebody. So I got the ginormous. Uh, Dr. Disrespect mouse pad. Literally ginormous. What, what constitutes as ginormous? Well, you're about to find out. Is there something at the bottom of the box here? Oh, okay. Again, same branding all around on this. Rocat killed it in that regard. Here's how big this mouse pad is. Do I got it upside down? No. Look at this beast. This is... This is as big as it gets, I think, when it comes to mouse pads. I don't know if you can see because the lighting. Dr. Disrespect and Rocat logo logos on that side. Um, just red, black, all the way across. The keyboard and the mouse are no doubt going to fit on this surface. And it, of course, it says violence, speed, momentum on it. So if you're a Doc fan, again, I haven't used these products yet. They killed the marketing on this. I think you're going to want these for sure. I'll tell you guys in the next video how I adapt to them, how I perform with them, how I like the actual products. And then, um, yeah, that'll be that. It'll be a fun experience. My first experience with Rocat products. Love the branding though, as far as being a Dr. Disrespect product and set. They absolutely killed it, 100%. Uh, if you're a Doc fan, I think you're gonna want this stuff and you're gonna love it. It's got that simple red, black Doc logos and de design. So uh, can't wait to use it. See you in the next one very soon, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Use all the links in the description to support the channel for ExpressVPN, Code Mare on G Fuel, and your support of Creator Slot on Fortnite, Code Mare 22 on leather bullstrap products. Whatever. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Make sure you come chat with me live on stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'm live by 7 p.m. and some other days, too. Go check out my second day or YouTube channel, by the way, Mare FPS, where I do short form gaming news. See you in the next one. Mayor Reynolds signing out of the Mayorverse for today. See you then. Whenever that is. All right, guys, welcome to part two of my Dr. Disrespect mouse and keyboard review from Rocat. I've used these now for about eight hours. I'm going to give you my thoughts on using them, converting from my old mouse and keyboard or keyboards. Um, all my thoughts on using it, my comfort level, uh, how it affected me gameplay wise, and just what I think of the products overall. So uh, this is actually only after an eight hour stream. This is not a long term review. I can't tell you how it's going to hold up six to 12 months from now, but I'm assuming it's a Rocat product. It's really going to hold up. So here is what the keyboard looks like lit up. I'm currently using, uh, as you can see, shifting lights. You can set it to whatever you want, though. One color all the time or, uh, you know, flashing, pulsating, evolving, breathing. There's a million different settings, which I will show you in the Rocat Swarm software, which we'll get into a little later in the review. Overall, though, 
Uh, the, the customization of the lights is awesome. Here's one of my favorite features. You can press buttons and the colors will, will shift. So you press those two keys right there. That happens throughout the whole keyboard. So the keyboard actually reacts to your use of it, which is a really cool little uh, feature. Here's what the mouse looks like lit up. You can customize the colors at the top there as well as the effect. I set to red and blue, which is my current branding, my new logo. Um, but overall, here are my thoughts. So the mouse, as I said in the first part in the unboxing, the mouse is insanely light. It is uh, um, unbelievably light. It almost feels like you're holding a piece of paper in your hand. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. Just simple, basic shape. The scroll wheel feels good. Moving it around on the uh, the mouse pad, which this one is also Rocat, feels natural. Uh, basically, no resistance. Um, and there's tons of settings, again, that you can customize in Rocat Swarm. But the basics are, it's a very simplistic mouse, uh, which is good for shooters. It feels comfortable in your hand. Using the side buttons is natural. The scroll wheel, both of the clicks make a nice little satisfying noise. Nice and simple. Uh, strong sound, though. Overall, very happy with the mouse. Keyboard, again, it's smaller than my last keyboard, and I wasn't sure, significantly smaller than my last two keyboards. I wasn't quite sure how I would feel about that. In the end, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I do like, I, after only like a day, I feel very natural moving from key to key. I heard some people talk about how high the space bar is, like the space bar is a little bit higher up than on some keyboards, which uh, on a lot of keyboards, the space bar is actually down, like a, even if it's, you know, a centimeter or whatever uh, i do notice that but i it really doesn't bother me per se it's just it does uh you do notice it the w key has a little indent on it i don't know if any of you have ever tried to put your hand back down on your keyboard after taking it off and you don't put your uh your, your middle finger on the w key you put it somewhere else and that screws up screws up your movement or your game or whatever this has a little uh there's a tiny little notch on it that you can feel to help you find that place back home there's also, I was trying to figure out why is this keyboard so much smaller? There's no number pad at all on this. So that may be a feature that makes or breaks this keyboard for you. If you're going to use this for a lot of other things, you know, I, I keep reaching for it at times to use that number pad and it's not there, not during games, so to speak, but during other things. I'm typing, uh, browsing websites, trying to, you know, shop online. Um, there's no number pad for, if for gaming purposes. That's probably not going to bother you at all. Uh, again, for other purposes, maybe maybe it will. If you're going to be doing a lot of a uh, lot of lot a lot of writing on this, or this is going to be your primary writing keyboard, um, you know that that might make a difference for you. I, I will say, you know, some of these keys have uh, Doctor Disrespect words on them. I mentioned that during during the uh, the unboxing. Uh, Caps Lock, for example, says or is it Shift? It's Shift. The Shift key says Speed. Funny because the Shift key is Run in most games. Uh, the enter key says boom, that's fine. Backspace key says dis disrespect. Um, there's some other ones, little little hidden things in there. Again, the escape key has a little Dr. Disrespect symbol on it. The windows key has a Dr. Disrespect symbol on it. If you're a doc fan, I think you're gonna, you're gonna love this. It's not gonna bother you, but just bear in mind, if you have a kid who's trying to learn how to type and this is the keyboard they're on, that might not be the, the, the best move for you. Overall, I'm very happy with the keyboard. I, I love the way it looks like the way it feels i'm figuring out all the little features of it game mode by the way turns off the use of the windows key so you don't accidentally hit it and uh minimize your game or whatever we've all done that before uh the little knob is indeed a, a volume knob and there is a prom a prominent mute button which is nice if you want to shut off the audio of your game or whatever you're doing there is one little quick button on your on your keyboard there that you can use very very slick all the way across the board and uh i i'm pretty pretty darn happy with it so far so now I want to show you guys the uh, the Rocat software, how you customize uh, all, all the features of either your mouse or your keyboard. Uh, and I've heard a lot about uh, about these features. Um, a lot of complaints, actually, about the Rocat Swarm software. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me show it to you. So this is what Rocat Swarm looks like. I I've got it maximized, screen size maximized right now. Uh, this is what it would look like on a smaller scale, but you can change all this stuff. Here's the, the mouse uh, controls. It's super easy. There's, here's your basic settings. You can change your scroll speed, double click speed. There's like a million different settings, DPI stuff right here. Um, here's your, you can re, re, um, reassign all your button features. 
you can change right here you can change the color of the of the pulses on the mouse or or you can even change whether they pulse or not you cannot there's a whole different bunch of options you're blinking heartbeat fully lit lighting off wave whatever you want and you can fully customize uh both both colors um to whatever you want and maybe you can add colors even down here there's solid and there's gradients as well apparently um but i just wanted the two colors just like the, the breathing thing i like that and uh, you would remember to hit okay apply and okay when you're done uh, and then there's advanced settings as well here and when you switch to the keyboard uh very similar things there is illumination options here uh I, i'm going with intelligent lighting by by default um, just kind of it's that like evolving ripple effect but you can do other things you can do the breathing just like my mouse does you can do heartbeat fully lit snake wave a whole bunch of effects um, there's key assignment again you can go through and uh, edit some of this stuff I personally don't I, I want keyboards that are simple right that's what's pretty great about um, a lot of these high-end keyboards they have features but you don't want it to be too crazy right like you don't want it you don't want it to be at least in my opinion you're playing a shooter you don't need 8,000 buttons that do different things i've never used you know macros and key binds um where you're hitting alt and, and number three and r and t at the same time to cast or heal or whatever the heck i've played plenty of mmos i still don't really get into that stuff and there's general features right here you can make when you're typing you can make it do a specific sound auditory sound like through your headphones or your speakers i don't know why you'd really do that but you can do that um there's some again there's other stuff in your amo um that is the intelligent lighting right there uh, there's other other features that i haven't even got into yet to be honest but that's the the rocat swarm software i heard a lot of complaints about this i actually found this to be pretty darn decent uh, i have no no problem with it at all i feel like it, it really provides a lot of customization isn't too hard to understand and get into i'm happy with it so overall guys I'm not gonna give this a a number score or anything like that now because this is just the I recommend it or I don't recommend it I do like these both of these Rocap products both of the doctor disrespect the mouse and keyboard and the mouse pad too and mouse pads probably not necessarily necessary for everybody necessarily necessary um, but overall I'm very happy with the purchase yes it's gonna set you back some money but even after a, a day or so of use just just the the swagger of it you know the rocat brand uh the way it looks the customization the way it feels playing with it uh i'm i'm pretty happy with my purchase again i'm looking forward to adjusting to it more uh this this mouse just feels super smooth and and, and light and easy to use keyboard feels and looks great complete set would definitely recommend it let me know in the comments what questions you guys have I'd be happy to answer any questions that you guys have about this. I can't wait to play Midnight Society's game, Dr. Disrespect's new studio's game, using this stuff. Uh, I could see maybe, maybe they'll go down the route of having some cool customized effects if you use, uh, you know, Rocat stuff, because that's Doc's company, uh, when you're playing that game, like some certain light effects or, or whatever. Who knows? Overall, guys, I recommend it. Uh, definitely happy with the purchase. Definitely happy with Rocat, the Doc branding, everything across the board. If you liked the video, if you found it useful, helpful, if it helped change your mind about your purchase, make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, gaming, streaming, content creation, content like this. We'll see you in the next one. May Reynolds out.